Hi guys, my name is Vikram Thakur. Welcome to this video on Data Warehouse Architecture. In the previous video, I have given you a quick summary on what is Data Warehousing and what is Data Warehouse and what are the various properties of a Data Warehouse. In this video, we will look into the standard architecture of a Data Warehouse used by most of the organizations. So let's get started. So this is the typical architecture of a data warehouse. So the first layer is the data source layer. As I mentioned in the previous video, a data warehouse is a collection of data from the various data sources of an organization. So all the data sources from which the data is extracted comes into this layer. The data can be extracted from various sources, for example, the operational systems such as sales, HR, inventory, marketing, and the systems data. Similarly, data from ERP systems such as SAP and CRM systems such as Salesforce, data from web server logs, uh, third party data such as the market search data, the survey data. So, all these data come under the data source layer. So, the data is extracted from a data source layer into a staging area using the ETL tools. So ETL stands for extract transform and load. The first step is to extract the data from various data sources into a single staging area using the ETL tools. Having one common area for all the sources makes it easier for the subsequent data processing and data transformation. So once the data is extracted into a data staging area, the next step is to load the data into a data warehouse. So before loading the data, uh, all the data that is extracted into staging area is actually cleaned and transformed as per the user requirements. In the data warehouse, basically there are three things. One is the metadata, second is the summary data and third is the raw data. The metadata is basically a data about data. It is one of the most important aspects about the data warehouse. It helps the data warehouse analyst to identify and find out what data is in the warehouse and where it is actually stored so that they can use that data effectively and efficiently to find out the information that they require. The third part of the warehouse is the summary data which actually forms the part of the data which is going to be queried to get the information. So generally we load this data using ETL tools in the in nightly batch it is not the real time data in the warehouse based on the user requirements for their information and the querying purposes we fetch the data from a, a sources summarize it and store it to a summary data and the last part of the architecture is the presentation layer which is a user interface for the analysts or for the decision makers which actually use the information from the data warehouse and make some decisions. Now the, the data from a data warehouse can be used by multiple tools and technologies. For example, the OLAP. OLAP is basically the online analytical processing. is an approach to answering the multi-dimensional analytical queries. It allows or it enables user to analyze the multi-dimensional data interactively from the multiple perspectives. OLAP consists of three analytical operations consolidation it is also called the roll up drill down and the slicing and dicing we'll cover uh, each of three in detail in the separate video for OLAP so next is the reporting so various reports are generated using the data loaded in the warehouse to understand how the business has been doing how the business will do in the future and uh, what we can do to improve the business so this is these are the general reports that it is that has been uh, generated out of the data that is loaded into the data warehouse and the last part is the data mining uh, data mining is basically uh, finding the or discovering the patterns that from the data stored in the data warehouse the overall goal of the data mining process is to extract information from a data set and transform it to an understandable structure for further use this information can be used uh, to increase the revenue, to cut cost, to increase the productivity in some 
the regions. It also allows users to analyze data from many different dimensions and categorize and summarize the relationship identified. Technically speaking, data mining is a process of finding correlation or patterns among the feeds in a, in a, in a large relational database. So this is a typical uh, data warehouse architecture. Let me know if you have any queries on this. Hope you guys have liked this video. If so, please hit the like button or subscribe to my channel for the future videos. Thank you.